Heather. Thank you for joining me in my journey to discover life. See life through my eyes. You know, there is a saying, you either do or you don't. There is nothing in between. This saying fits you very well because you're one such person who has made his dreams come true. It takes a lot of commitment to be successful in life and you have proved that. I'd like to hear your perspective on commitment and its importance and impact both in personal and professional life. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Uh, so, uh, commitment has been a very major part of my life, obviously. Uh, but I have never looked at it from a, a like a, a theoretical perspective, you know, or I have never looked at it consciously, you know, like should I be committed to uh, achieve something? It has always been about uh, wanting something very badly. And the first thing I really wanted very badly in my life was uh, becoming a film. I wanted to become a filmmaker. And this was in 2006 when I, when my journey started as a filmmaker and, uh, uh, you know, uh, all that I was thinking was, okay, what, what is the, what are the steps that I have to take if I have to become a filmmaker? So the first step, uh, the first step I took was to not say no to campus recruitment jobs uh, in engineering and, uh, you know, take up a job in a call center, do a night shift job and then come back home and spend time watching films, uh, spend time taking workshops and, you know, things like that. Uh, most of my friends in the uh, office would ask me, you know, how do you do it? How are you so committed, you know, that you uh, uh, work here for eight, nine, ten hours and then go back home and also do that. So, uh, but in my uh, mind, I was never looking at it as a commitment. It was basically that I wanted to uh, become a filmmaker and I was doing it to become a filmmaker. So it was not a very conscious way of looking at it as a commitment. But now when I look back, I'm really, uh, I myself, I'm surprised that, you know, did I really do all of that? You know, uh, sleeping just five to six hours per day for consistently for about 12 years, you know, 12 wow. to 13 years I've done that. And uh, uh, the kind, the amount of things that I did while I was working with the corporate world, because if I talk about Shuddhi, for example, once the film was completed, there was two and a half years of uh, uh, time when the post-production couldn't happen because there was no money. Uh, there were no funds left. So in those two and a half years, I went back to my corporate job once again and I was working in the night shift once again and I took a loan, personal loan and finished the entire uh, post-production with that uh, with, a, with a loan I took. So all this happened while I was working in a shift that starts at 10 p.m. in the night and goes on till 7 a.m. in the morning. It's then I come amazing. back from the office. <laughs> then I come back from the office and uh, I work on... The, there are times when I haven't slept for like 30, 35 hours at a stretch, uh, you know, because I had to finish the film. Uh, so all that while when uh, uh, things were not working out and uh, uh, the doors looked like they're all closed, they're all shut, there is no way out. Something kept me going and that was, uh, you know, that I want to be a filmmaker, nothing else. So during all these uh, phases of my life, uh, I know commitment has played a very major role. But I never looked at it as, you know, like a commitment. It was, it was more about wanting it. Uh, but yeah, it, it is commitment and, uh, you know, uh, so I, I think uh, my advice is, you know, never look at it as, uh, you know, I have to be committed if I have to get this. It's more about wanting it very badly and commitment is a byproduct. It will come by itself is what I feel. Makes sense. And yeah, yeah that's in the context of my uh, filmmaking journey is what I said. Uh, and uh, in the context of a personal life, yes, there is hard work there. I mean, if you if you talk about a relationship, for example, you know, uh, there you have to be, uh, uh, that's more of a conscious thing. You have to be committed because there is ups and downs in life. There are times when uh, there, are, there are misunderstandings between your partner. So there you have to be conscious and tell yourself, okay, I have to be committed. You know, that, that's a different way of looking at it. So yeah, there are different aspects of life, different contexts of life where you look at the word commitment and uh, yeah, that's how I look at it. <laughs> for sure, because the, you know, it's a great point you mentioned that you took a break for whatever reasons to make it better and work it out for two years and come back yeah. same zone and start yeah. precisely where you ended. It takes a lot and that's really something that one must appreciate. That's awesome job, Adarsh. Thank you. Really. Thank you. Your movies are really 
clearly different from the regular commercial movies and i been very curious to know uh, you know what is the kind of message that you have portrayed social messages through your movies such as binna and should be yeah i've never uh, uh, thought about it in that perspective i mean even now the, re- the reason i wrote should be was that i was uh, i was very frustrated about what happened with the nirbhaya case uh, in in delhi uh, so the frustration of not being able to do anything about such a big issue that happened in the country uh, the frustration is what i poured out as a script in of the film so uh, finally what you see in the film the girl going and killing those guys who uh, you know uh, did the wrong so that is not something that i can do in real you know it's not possible in reality so my revenge uh, what i want to take on the injustice happening is what i showed in the film so i was not really giving out any any message it was just my frustration that i went it out to a film so that's what you see in shuddhi but people had their own way of looking at it they took some uh, messages out of it but my intention was never to give any message to anyone it was just my expression of what i felt Uh, with binna it was more about the, the, and the objective of binna was to create a film at a very low budget uh, uh, a film that is not regular as you said and also make money out of it i want to show the industry that if you if people believe that only commercial films can make money you know i'm not saying my film is com- uh, uh, like art or commercial i call it a, a blend of both art and commercial so i wanted to show the industry especially that a film like this can also be released in theaters and can and can make money but uh, for some reason for business reasons it went to a digital platform directly it still made money uh, uh, but i i wished it came to theaters and actually uh, served uh, the uh, purpose for which i made the film but i think it still made a huge impact because um, you know it, it's really one thing uh, i realized is it's not really necessary that we have to have a lot of music and dance and entertainment mm. in a movie this yeah. one without all of those uh, you know factors still kept us you know uh, on our seat it gave yeah. us a lot of awareness and that's more yeah. important and um, you know I, i personally believe that such movies should come more you know more and more uh, compared Absolutely. to the commercial ones and i'm uh, you know pretty sure um, you will come up with more um, new concepts and uh, you know bring us more um, educative uh, conceptual movies uh, you know in the future Absolutely. Absolutely. yeah now i have um, you know one fun kind of question you know i would say okay. five questions that i'd like you to choose okay. from okay uh, this is basically to see you know what you like more one versus the other okay. i've just made some points i don't want to forget so i'll read it out for you okay 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 sure. all right yeah. you're ready yeah okay acting or directing uh it is directing that's the joy of creating something so yeah <laughs> okay tele series or movies movies okay art movies or commercial movies see i uh, i as i said i would i would want to blend the both uh, you know uh, a commercial film which also has an artistic value what steven uh, uh, steven spielberg does uh, in in hollywood you know it's a mixture of awesome. both awesome okay yeah. so that's called as talent by the way <laughs> <laughs> so dialogue or visuals uh, i like visual storytelling that's what i prefer as okay. i want as minimal dialogues as possible in my films okay yeah. passion money or fame i think passion because passion is like a salary and uh, fame is like an incentive that you get so if you are really passionate you get your salary uh, and uh, everything else follows you is what i mean awesome very yeah. smart answer <laughs> very <laughs> sensible yeah so i also wanted to find out you know if there is any message that you'd like to give uh, you know we've been waiting to hear you actually so any particular message to all those who are studying uh, you know broadcast media or movie or television documentary anything related to you know art see from my own experience what i realized is uh, uh, patience is the most important uh, quality that you need in any industry to break through you know it's not even about talent let me tell you that i mean because we see a lot of people who are not even talented being big big people in, in most of the industry yeah. at least in film industry is a lot of stars who can't even act i think for, for them what worked out was the patience they waited they waited and they worked hard and uh, they did not give up as simple as that so i think that is the key quality uh, you would need uh, uh, 
to to break into any industry is what i feel that is one thing and taking words from your own mouth that's uh, seeing life through my eyes together we can make an impact awesome thank you adarsh you know um, it's a very short time that we spend but then uh, you precisely gave us all the pointers that we'd like to hear uh, specifically on commitment on patience you know how one can differentiate between passion commitment and fame and how one can actually be successful in life you know if one commits to do it and you are the example that we are all seeing so you are an inspiration for sure so i really thank you for joining me today and sharing your thoughts and experiences i wish you the very best always thanks so much